Hello everyone, Ronix with it another tutorial and in this tutorial today I want to show you guys how to create your actions for skin retouching in Photoshop. You know, even in my usual tutorials I've been going through the very long process of creating uh, every folder or layers straight from the start in Photoshop but this way you're going to be able to create your own actions for skin retouching so that you guys can speed up your skin retouching process in just Photoshop. So let's click in and we start learning about how to create those actions and those actions are basically going to be the frequency separation actions and the dodging and burning actions. So first of all you have to create the frequency separation actions and under this we're going to be learning about uh, the types of images. We have an 8-bit image and a 16-bit image. So meaning you have to create an action basing on the type of image you're going to do your retouching onto. And as you can see, in order to see a type of image you have into your Photoshop, just come right here to image and come to mode and look for uh, the checked uh, bits channel of your image. And for this case, we have an 8 bits channel image. So that's the first frequency separation action we're going to be creating for this very image to speed up the skin retouching process and as usual we first of all come right here to window and come and hit action so that we open the action panel or action window in this very case so let's first of all delete uh, that frequency separation uh, group so this is uh, your window before you create your actions so you, as usual come and create a set this is going to be a folder where your actions are going to be stored generally. So we are just going to come and rename that folder a frequency sep I don't know what's wrong with my spellings today. Okay, frequency separation like that. So come and click OK like that. And after doing so, this is where your actions are going to be stored for frequency separation. So after come and create this and click on this plus icon right here. So this is going to enable you create a new action and name it accordingly. So come and hit create new action and after doing so, it's going to bring up this window. Then you can name that maybe 8 bit. Yeah. Because this is going to be used for uh, retouching 8 bit images. And after doing so, you can as well assign a function key or a shortcut for on your keyboard for this very 8 bit action. And for my case, I'm just going to hit none. Then come and choose the color. So you're just going to choose the color as red and come and click record. And you can see the record option is already activated for this very image. So we're going to first of all create the two layers for the frequency separation. That is by hitting Ctrl or Command J twice. And you're going to first of all select the layer one. Okay, let's rename this uh, into low low and high for this case so we're just going to do that then we're going to create a layer in between these two that is going to be more of a backup layer so just select the low layer and just click on this new layer icon so we're going to uh, deactivate these two layers or hide them and select the low frequency layer then you're going to come right here under filter blur and you're going to come to Gaussian blur like that so this is where you put uh, the radius. So you have to move this as usual until you lose out on the details in the skin on this image. So you're just going to move until we lose out on the details. So you shouldn't worry because your images are going to be varying from time to time and the details or sharpness is also going to be var varying. So let's, let's go with 8. So you have to blur until you lose out on the textures or skin details in the image. So come and click OK. And after doing so, uh, we're going to come right here and you're going to activate these two layers and now select the high frequency layer. And after you have selected it, come right here under image and come to um, apply image. And for the 8-bit image, make sure you select a yellow frequency layer. Right here, you select it. And come and change the blending into subtract and make the scale to offset 128. And make sure if that is not marked or selected and your preview is on. And your image is going to be having a gray kind of look and you shouldn't mind about that. 
and after doing so you can come and hit ok like this and change the blending mode from normal and change it to linear light like this and after you have done so remember we want to uh, stop our action so that we can fit in uh, maybe the details of the Gaussian blur later on as the action is playing so just come and hit at uh, this stop icon so that the action stops every time we reach on this Gaussian blur kind of uh, step so that we can blur out the textures for varying images and after we have done so you're just going to come right here and put this in a group by hitting ctrl or command yeah or you can hit shift and select uh, the three layers without your background layer and hit ctrl or command g on the keyboard to put them in a group like that so as usual for my frequency separation i usually add a black and white layer in between or in the group of my frequency separation so i'm just going to come right here and i'm going to come right down and select black and white so this is going to guide me as i blend the skin tones using the mixer brush tool so i'm just going to come and darken this like that so that i have a starting step for all my images and after doing so we're just going to rename this uh, frequency separation like that so i have just renamed the folder and after all you feel uh, you have done everything so select your low frequency layer and after doing so you can just come and play your action and just select your mixer brush tool and start blending straight away so let's come right here and come back to the actions and we want to stop the action so after stopping the action it will have recorded everything so i want to go all the way up like this and i'm going to close this and we're going to delete this uh, all this we have done so we want to see if at all our action is going to be working on this image so come and select the 8 bit so you can come under action select uh, the group and select the action and hit play so when you hit the play button it is of course going to stop at the Gaussian blur option so you can put whichever radius you want and hit ok and your action is going to play just like that and now we're going to delete this so we have we are done creating the action for the 8-bit images so right now we want to create the action for a 16-bit image so you can as well convert your 8-bit images into 16-bit if at all you want because 16-bit images tend to give more detail and uh, more peace when you're trying to retouch them so we are going to close this and we're going to come right under image and you're going to come to mode sorry and select 16-bit channel so as you can see this has already been converted into a 16-bit image so we want to uh, maybe assume that we're going to create the action for a 16-bit image and as usual we're going to come you can come under this if at all you already recorded the first action come under actions and you're going to come under our group like this so we want to create a new action and for this case hit the plus icon or the create create new action option in photoshop and you're going to name this uh, 16 yeah 16 16 bit like that and after you can assign a color sorry a shortcut and later on a color we're going to go with yellow and hit record and for this case we are as well going to create the two layers and we are going to name this high and you are going to name the uh, one below low like that and after we want to create a layer in between because uh, this layer helps us maybe to blend skin tones if at all we have uh, parts that are not really uh, blending uh, into the image or sampling colors and removing those uneven skin tones by using the eyedropper pack tool and using a brush to uh, copy color and blend the image that's why you have this color right in the middle if at all you may be wondering the function for it so we are going to deactivate these two layers and come the low frequency layer come right to filter blur and come to gaussian blur like that then uh, put in the whichever radius you want come and hit ok like that and after doing so we want uh, our action to stop right here so that we can put in the values for 
whichever image we are just going to be uh, retouching. And after doing so, we are going to come and activate uh, the high frequency layer and come right here to image and you're going to come to apply image. And when you come to apply image, this is where it differs. This is where a 16-bit image differs from uh, an 8-bit image. So we're going to come and select uh, the low frequency layer, of course, and come under a blending mode and you're going to select add. And after doing so, make sure invert is on or selected. So when you turn this on, make sure your opacity is 100. The scale is 2 and offset at 0. Yeah. Opacity 100, scale 2, offset at 0 and just come and hit OK. Come and change the blending mode from normal and change it to, uh, sorry, linear light like that. And after you have done so, we want to now put this in a group by hitting shift and hitting on the lower layer and hitting command G to put them in a group. So we're going to name that uh, frequency separation like that. So you're going to open this and you're going to uh, add a black and white layer in between our frequency separation group. So just come and select the high frequency layer and come and create, uh, uh, select the black and white layer and just darken so that we have a starting point. When you come and just select your mixer brush tool. So th this is done and come and select your low frequency layer. So after doing so, you are just going to come and you select your mixer brush tool and start blending right away after setting your mixer brush tool and I have so many videos about how to set up your mixer brush tool so after you have done so and you feel like your action is done come right here and just stop at the recording by just hitting the stop button like that so your action is going to be recorded so we're just going to move all the way up like this and you're going to close uh, that then you are just going to delete this group and we see if at all our action is going to work. So come under the frequency separation group and select 16 bit and just play it. And it is going to bring this, put whichever radius you want and hit OK. So after it is going to start playing and yeah, that is going to be all for your image like that. So I'm just going to delete this. So that is all about creating your, uh, maybe your frequency separation actions. So right now I want to show you guys how to create your actions for dodging and burning. So this dodging and burning is basically more of maybe global dodging and burning. And you can as well use the same method for as a starting point for your maybe micro dodging and burning. So as usual, come right here and create a new set. So we are going to name this set. You're going to name our set uh, dodge, dodge and burn like that. And after doing so, come and hit OK. Then come right here and uh, start, uh, make sure this is open. Then come and select this and create your dodge and burn. Or set your dodge and burn group. So we are going to name that. Uh, maybe we are going to name it D and B like that. And after doing so, we are going to come and hit uh, the record button like this. So you can as well uh, get a function key for, for it. Or And now select a color. We are going to go with blue and hit record. And we are going to start recording. So for dodging and burning, uh, we usually use the curves in Photoshop. So you're just going to come right here and come and select curves. Remember, dodging and burning is more of enhancing the highlights and the shadows in the image. So come select this like this and brighten so when you are brightening we be dodging and when we are darkening we be burning so brighten make sure a mask is selected hit ctrl or command i on the keyboard to hide the effect and you are going to name that layer dodge so we are going to do the same for the burn so you are just going to come right here curves and make a midpoint and drag down to a uh, darken like that Make sure this is selected and hit Ctrl or Command I on the keyboard to hide that. Remember when you are burning, uh, we'll be darkening a particular part on the image. And after doing so, uh, we are going to put uh, these two in a group. And before we can do so, you have first of all make sure or ensure white is on the foreground. Because for dodging and burning, white has to reveal what we hid using the black mask. 
So we're going to uh, select both layers and put them in a group by hitting Ctrl or Command G on the keyboard. And uh, we're going to name that group Dodge and Burn, like that. So after we have done so, we want to open this group. So for whichever uh, method you want, maybe you want to dodge and burn using lines or what, or maybe using by just painting using the brush, you can uh, do that. So you can as well create a black and white layer if at all you want to use the brush uh, by just painting on the highlights and the shadows in the image, or you can as well leave it uh, the way it is. So you can as well now select the burn layer like that. And after it is selected, come and ensure that white is on the foreground like that after selecting a burn layer. And after doing so, you can come right here under the actions. Yeah, and now stop your action like that. So after you have done so, you can close this and now come and delete the dodge and burn. So we want to see if at all it, it has really recorded our action the way we need it. So you're just going to come right here and select actions and you want to come under a dodge and burn. So select it and hit the play button and it is going to uh, play right away. So this is basically how I do create my actions for skin retouching in Photoshop. So you have learned about the dodge and burn actions and how to create the 8-bit and 16-bit actions for frequency separation skin retouching in Photoshop. So you have to create these actions so that they help you or guide you or make your retouching process are really fast in Photoshop so that you can save a time. So if at all you like this video, don't forget to like or leave a comment in the comment section. I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in so many tutorials to come in this on this channel and I'll be creating behind the scenes videos soon. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.